Hello. Hi. Hi. Hey, Ellen, how's it going? How are you? Good to see you. Oh, and you, Luke. It's been so mm. long. It's been since yesterday. <laughs> Ye yesterday afternoon. <laughs> My goodness. We mustn't leave it so long next time. I know. I know. How are you? Oh, I'm fine. You know, keeping on, keeping on. You know me. <laughs> Just, just drawing on my in, indomitable spirit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I get that. Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah. What well, have you been in... up to this week? What have I been up to? Well, I've been playing Animal Crossing. Yeah. Um, I can't remember what's real anymore. Yeah. I've started to dream in Animal Crossing. <gasps> amazing. Well, you say amazing. Actually, it, it was amazing. Yeah. <laughs> um, it was a really mundane dream. I had to, um, I had to dig all these holes. Um, oh, and yeah? I and I I kept just like missing the you know in Animal Crossing where you slightly misjudge it, or like just get your direction slightly wrong and you and you're like, it was like oh, a stress no. yeah. yeah it's like a stress dream where I had to dig all these holes um, <laughs> and I and I couldn't quite get them in a line and Tom Nook was there and he was really mad um, so that's how I'm how are you doing I'm fine <laughs> good, uh, good, 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 good. I'm excited about the new Assassin's Creed. Oh yeah, Valhalla. Uh, very excited about that. Uh, if you missed it, anyone watching, we did a live stream yesterday, like breaking down like different things that we'd like. Um, there's actually a really cool article over on Eurogamer that goes into like even more detail uh, by friend of the channel Tom Phillips, who was mm -hmm. in the Assassin's Creed Bit Three video with me. He knows his so, onions. Yeah, and he he had a had a good. Uh, interview with uh, one of the developers so i am gonna be like scouring that later and be like what's in it um so that would be good uh and i think Eurogamer video channel went through that as well which is good so yep. Zo zoe like me is a big ac fan so we're just like ah, at each other at the moment. <laughs> just, well yeah. as long as as long as you're all like that at each other each other and not at you yeah yeah and not and <laughs> not at me i'm trying my best to not be like ah in everyone's faces but i'm very excited I mean, I got I I forgot at the end of the stream. I was gonna put on my favourite hat, uh, which, which is this one. There it is. <laughs> there it is. There it is. Wait, I'll model it. I'll model it now, everyone. This is. I'm quite excited. I was there when Ellen got that through airport and I, security. I would like a Viking helmet next, please. Thank you. That would be great. That would be great. Uh... <laughs> oh. Good. Yeah. <laughs> good. 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 Um, uh, yeah. All right. Well, uh, coming up on today's show, um, Ellen's going to talk about Ori, Will, yes. Will of Will of the Wisps. Will of the Wisps. Um, and then I'm going to quiz her on uh, Cloudpunk, which is a cool uh, cyberpunk game that is not cyberpunk, but is a cyberpunk game. Um, uh, but before that, should we check in with the chat a little bit? Yeah, I think so. Eleanor Smith says, "Yay, birthday live stream! Happy birthday, Eleanor!" Um, Happy birthday, uh, John. Uh, producer John is moderating this uh, live stream and is in the chat. Um, says, I've just been putting cheese on some oat cakes. Stay nourished. <laughs> so, thanks, John. And hashtag stay nourished mm -hmm. out there, folks. Welcome along, new member, the Mr. Mr. Griffith. Uh, and Elizabeth Fleming says, Can I have a shout out for Monotream, who let me plunder his AC Island Tassie for fish? Shows how nice oh, Orlox Boxer fans are, really. Uh, yes, of course. Here is a shout out. Shout out. Monotream. I, I like seeing all the nice positive things coming out of the Animal Crossing community and people yeah. like helping each other. I think that's lovely. Mm. I've got an eye on uh, turnip prices at the moment because it's oh, you know, my goodness. Yeah, coming I've up on the end of the like, week. A huge fenced off area full of turnips and I'm like, please. <laughs> please, yeah. someone has some good prices. Yeah, waiting for uh, someone to message me. Last week, I had... I forgot to buy turnips well i didn't forget i was too busy on sunday morning to actually find time to go because i was like talking to friends and stuff i was actually being sociable for once um and then uh yeah and then last week two of my friends had like record prices and it was just like <laughs> very annoying very annoying yeah. and i've started to realize as well like i was kind of casually doing the turnip thing mm -hmm. you know but it wasn't the main now thing i was doing I in the game well, like, I've just got to a point in the game where I need serious money. 
-hmm. you know like to build the mm -hmm. number of inclines yeah that I oh you're going, yeah you're going in on the inclines like for me yeah. andy and i have both focused on our houses and like put some paths down but not done much else like andy and i've both got nice houses and very well laid out orchards yeah uh, whereas you have like inclines everywhere inclines. well i'm never uh I'm never in my house in Animal Crossing. I'm always running around the island. So for me, mm. the convenience of not having to switch out tools uh, to sort mm. of get around is 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 the thing that is most precious to me. Yeah. Of all things. Uh, right, hang on. We're not supposed to be talking about Animal no. Crossing. No, no. Mm. But it's yeah. just the way of things. <laughs> uh, welcome new member Hangry Giant. And James Franklin, regarding uh, all the Assassin's Creed stuff, says, I'm going to love it when there's some more news on Breath of the Wild 2 and the whole situation is flipped. Luke just bouncing up and down with excitement and Ellen just sitting there smiling. Well, no, I'm going to be bouncing up and down with excitement as well. Yeah, this is the just thing. The... Ellen is basically bouncing up and down with excitement about every series. Yeah, like there's, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of games that I really like. Um, but and it just Breath of the Wild is Luke. You're just like that's the one. I think it's because you bagsied the game when it. <laughs> so I was like, I'll let you. Oh have yeah, it. I forgot about that. I forgot about that classic <laughs> running joke. Um, bagsied yeah, is like... a very kind way of putting it. <laughs> no, it was fine. Well, the thing is, I, I only have... ever played Ocarina of Time and the Phantom Hourglass, whereas you'd played the the Smorgsborg of all of the Zelda games. So I was like. It makes more sense if you play it first. And then, then yep. I was like, can I can I have a go? <laughs> Absolutely not. Absolute My copy no. is now with Jane. Because when she got her Switch Lite, I was like, Jane, immediately you need to borrow this. The fact okay. that you would give away your copy under any circumstances tells me that I was right to not let you have it in the first place. <laughs> I didn't give it away. I've lent it to you. <laughs> and now she has it forever because we're in lockdown. So. <laughs> yeah. How convenient. Damn. <laughs> um cool all right and uh stefan yazvak says greetings from beaufort south carolina hope you're staying safe and healthy i'm currently sneak watching this at work which is pretty cool uh moriarty123 says i've been working from home since the lockdown but i got a day off today so i'm enjoying some show of the weekend and uh, zanzibar white says how can you wear that helmet and not give us a this is extra you know oh it's happening now now is it you asked you asked and ellen provides this is extra and then I'm, I'm going down the hole. Ah! <laughs> that was me being kicked into the pit. I'm sorry, Luke. <laughs> That's fine. I have so many. I have so many. I have so many props here. So many Assassin's Creed props. Like, wow. <laughs> look at it. Uh, yeah. I, yeah. I really like Assassin's Creed. Just, just put it out. <laughs> but, well, and I know you really like Assassin's Creed, but I'm going to get you to talk about something else. Another game I really like. Another mm. game that uh oh my goodness oh my goodness they did it they they ruddy bloody did it this game um, made you cry yeah the first game made me cry this game made me cry uh, just just tears just so many tears um and not even just at the end uh like ori and the will of the wisps like ori in the blind forest i played that loved it couldn't believe what a astounding game like such an astounding game and like this kind of Metroidvania, uh, platformy, uh, just platformy. It is a platformer, um, and you just explore this like beautiful forest that is like cursed, and you have to clear everything. And it, it's like kind of basically the same thing again, but you've also got a little Alfred, who's so cute. So um, remind because uh, s somehow Ori has slipped below my radar. I must have been. Um, oh. too, too busy with Animal Crossing, but can you out? Could you briefly outline the plot? Because you're some sort of like little blue squirrel little, or something. You're a little an spirit. Elf? You're a spirit. A spirit. So you you have light. You're like made of light, basically, and uh, you have to go around it. Like it's the same as in the first game. There's kind of like a curse uh, over you the might, forest. You, you might have to refresh me on the first game as well. The first game. Uh, I'm trying to think exactly the story, but like basically. There, it's there's a lot of symbolism in trees and you have to fix the tree in order okay. to fix the world around it and the roots of the tree and all that sort of jazz um so a lot of it is going through a corrupted world yeah making your th way through uh these platforming puzzles getting to a boss 
fighting that boss and ridding the world of it, the corruption, which then opens up even more puzzles. Uh, Metroidvania uh, style. You yeah. go back to places where you could go before. And, exactly. Yeah, and not only just in changing an environment, it's also in um, your abilities. So as you go around, there are these magical trees that you go and you learn a brand new ability. Uh, so learning how to double jump, learning how to... There's this amazing skill where you kind of jump in the air and there's these special objects that you can interact with that you can then use to like spring yourself in a direction and you choose the direction. It's all very intricate and fast moving and really, 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 really fun. And I think honestly, some of the best platforming that you can get. Nice. Wow. It is nice. so well done and so polished uh, in terms of the gameplay. It's great. And the little spirit is super cute little ori uh kind of looks like stitch oh yeah um with the I little like stitch and the little in it yeah like uh super cute um and makes adorable little noises as you go around it's really really like oh gosh when you get him killed like you feel bad but um you do very it's very quick quick reloading so you're not like like oh god oh it's fine it's fine it's fine and then you quickly go over it and you're like come on come on it's fine um but the, just the, the 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 design of this game, the art in this game, the environments uh, are just gorgeous. Um, sometimes they are uh, like terrifying. Um, so like there's there's things trying to eat you and murder you, but also you can turn things back on them. So uh, I believe you just showed, showed a clip where there's these two kind of big things attacking you yeah and you're and doing you, some kind of deflection move yeah you deflect things the projectiles onto people it it like it's it's so there's so many good little mechanics in this game that make it unique um and you can like augment how you play the game as well with the use of shards so as you go around you find shards and they give you different abilities so they can unlock a triple jump or they can make uh like a particular power you have more powerful or make yeah. you more resistant to something so there's different ways that you can like change up how you play so if you find th one thing more difficult you can choose the shards for that um the combat in this game is really fun as well uh it's not just about platforming you are also fighting things and there's a lot of like you use your platforming skills such as dashing and jumping around and you jump around the environment to like get around and over your enemies and as you play through the game you unlock more powerful attacks and you find shards that allow you to do new moves with uh, items or abilities that you already have um for example i've got like this huge hammer at one like point that i opened up really early in the game and it's just a nice big heavy attack it's a slow attack but it's a heavy attack yeah later on in the game i unlock an ability where when i'm using that thing uh, it allows me to do a ground pound type thing that brings up like shards from the floor, mm -hmm. uh, shards of like glass or ice, like the spirit energy that you have. Um, and that like does a huge area of effect attack, uh, which comes in really handy. Um, there's things, uh, there's, uh, so there might be some footage that we'll get to later on, but there's like combat shrines and things that you can try out your skills. But you go through such a variety of environments yeah um and so as you unlock all of these different abilities so you get to like a sandy area and then you can uh you have the ability to like dive through huge areas of sand whereas like when you first get to that place like you can't you have to rely on other things um and there's like the the platforms that are made of sand that collapse and you have to work out you know how to get through them really quickly um uh, and but like mentioning that, I will say that this game is not easy. Yeah, I'm just looking at um, the gameplay now, and the, the platforming looks. It doesn't look fiddly. It looks like it's really well designed, it's but it looks like it requires design. some controller coordination. Oh my goodness! You know, yeah. You know that thing when you're about to do a thing in a video game, and you're like, I really yeah. hope my muscle memory kicks in, and I remember exactly how this is done. Yeah. Well, I believe like the the footage right now is it. This is in like the spider infested zone, which yeah. I really enjoyed. They had this mechanic where there's darkness around you, and if you're not next to a light source, eventually it kills you. Oh, um, okay. Cool. So, so you so you have to hurry from one. Yeah, you have light to light source to another. The other. 
And then uh, there's a point where you unlock this little firefly that gives you guides you around and you can follow it on a route up. Mm -hmm. But in this footage, I believe I, I miss one of the platforms and then that's it. There's a lot of things where like you do a whole route up and then you miss one thing and you're, you're done and you have to do it again. And that can be really frustrating at times. So, so the checkpointing is quite punishing. It's, it's not too hideous, but like... It is, it is really uh, frustrating at times. It's not the kind of game that you where you want to be playing something over and over again, I would I would guess. You sort of want to experience every like level and stage and Yeah, you want to experience all of the different levels. Mm. Um, and like fortunately for me there wasn't anything where I was like, this is impossible. But sometimes in order to work out routes I did have to double check like a walkthrough or something oh, just okay, to be yeah, like, yeah. am I doing this right? What am I missing? And then I'll look at walkthrough and be like, oh, it's that way. Or it's how, that was I... yeah. how, yeah. um, how was I going to figure that out? Yeah, like there was there was one thing like to get to like a secret item. Uh, it took me a ridiculous number of tries. Um, and uh, it was really, really annoying. But on the on the. On the flip side of that, you do have some amazing puzzles. I think right now, um, it, it, what's showing is this huge wheel puzzle. Yep. Oh my goodness, that was one of my favourite puzzles in the game because it, it's it's at its core, it's just a platforming thing. It's not anything different to the rest of the game, but just the thought that went into okay, how can we build an environment that works in four directions uh, and that gives you a different route every single time mm. and like plays with like the lasery things that are kind of going around and that's cool it, it, i love stuff cool. like that so it's so cool like i think some of the level design in this is fantastic um because it just gives you like you've got the water levels you've got the uh the different um like the sandy area the the, the foresty area the dark area um, but yeah, what, what's showing now is uh, one of the boss fights. Now, a lot of these boss fights, you do have ones where you have to smash the thing in the face. Um, and you oh, have to try and like, find a weak This spot. looks like a running away boss. But this is a running away boss. And this is a very common thing. Even the bosses where you hit it in the face, there mm. will often be a oh, section where you have goes. to run away. Little Ori died. Yeah. And, and like it'll sometimes take you a while to like work out the route. So... Um, like it, it, it takes practice like sometimes i i was able to be like okay i know what i'm doing with this platforming because the whole uh previous level that you've been running around is pretty much just practice for the boss fight but right okay it still takes a little bit of practice and getting used to like where you need to be um and getting the timing down as well and like sometimes you catch yourself using the wrong ability because things are mapped to the same button right but it's they react differently depending on where you are in the environment okay um so sometimes you like press a button being like okay i think i can use this ability now and it's like nope. <laughs> you're gonna dash over here instead of like latch onto the thing you need to and it's a bit frustrating um but once you nail it it's great it's great uh one thing i will say is um i kind of went for a lot of achievements in this game you and, always go for a lot of achievements in every game. Yeah, and then when I kind of like finished the game, got all the kind of uh, special uh, achievements for like all the collectibles and everything, the ones that I felt, yeah, I can do. Um, I had a look at some of them and it's like, finish the game without dying. And I'm like... Oh, wow. Oh, you gotta, you got to do it, Ellen. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> well, oh, like, you got to. Finish, finish in hard mode, finish without dying, finish in four hours um yeah you, yeah i mean well you you love you gotta uh, you, if you want the achievements right i oh i love this game so much but um I, like i shout out to all the people who are who have achieved those or are going to attend them like it tells you the percentage of how many people have got it of out of the people who have played the oh game. yeah 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 yeah. and it's yeah. like 0.01 percent <laughs> on all of them um but uh yeah like for the people um who really enjoy it like that's good that's great have that there it's got some um, replayability if you're an achievement addict yeah and if That's you really cool. love that style of platformer how, how um, long is how long is the game you said like complete it in four hours is the sort of un very very difficult version how long yeah. do you think you you completed it in 
Well, with doing everything and all of the side quests and doing the main story, all the collectibles took me about 12, 15 hours or something. Nice. Not, the, perfect, not... the perfect length. Yeah, like it... Uh, maybe, maybe a little bit more. I'm not 100%. Um, but like, I just had a few evenings where I was like, right, I'm going to play this. I want to get as much as possible. Um, oh, that's real good. And yeah, it was really, 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 really fun. Um, oh, it was just... Um, uh, some I can see someone mentioning Hollow Knight. I believe, yeah, that's that's another similar s style of game, and that's now on my list that I really want to play because everyone's been recommending that after I cried at the end of Ori. <laughs> yeah, I, um, I neither of us have played Hollow Knight, but yeah, so many I, people go on about it. I want to play that game. Definitely. Yeah, yeah, we gotta that's we gotta give it a go. Right up my alley. Um, um, why d why did you why did you cry? Because this game looks good and fun to play, but it it sounds like there's not loads of story so why did you why did you cry i don't want to say exactly why yeah. there's kind of like a revelation because this game is finding about what ori's purpose is right like that's like all the marketing is like find out or ori is going to find out exactly what like he exists to be and you know so it's that there's this revelation there's a bit the owl is sad at points and that hurts my soul um, Does it turn also... out that Ori's purpose is to do something bad, like? No, no. Is he, is he turn out to be wicked? No, 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 no. Okay. No, it's okay. all good. It's all good. But it's just very emotional. Okay, sure. sure. Um, is there a lot of like? Is there dialogue? I can see some text yeah, on screen there's, now. Yeah, there's dialogue. So you chat to various characters. So this is uh, in the the. Oh goodness! So there's like a marsh area, which is like a little hub that you okay. discover. And you build it up for the Moki, who are like these little kind of cat lemur things that are the most adorable thing ever. Um, and they're like, Rrr! and you talk to them and I love them. Um, and uh, actually, like one thing that made me cry was there was a side quest where there was a Moki that had settled there and was like, I want you to go and get my family and tell them to come join me because, you know, I made it. Um, I, I went out to see if I could find somewhere for us and I can. Yeah. You go back to his family home. Um and they, because of the corruption, have been petrified. So they're turned to stone. So I got there and was like, no. And then to tell him, you have to take back a petrified doll of his child, like his child's doll, and bring it back. And you give him the doll and he's like, okay. And I was just like, in my room, being like, <laughs> Yikes. little animals, like, <laughs> oh my God. Um, but yeah, like, the, the the big thing as well is the music like oh my goodness that really really tugs on your heartstrings the be the music is beautiful and just everything is so beautifully animated yeah and they're very good at doing like little sad faces like in the little characters and you're like no oh. <laughs> um and there's, yeah there's a lot that had like most of it is just going around and fighting things but those little cutscenes are just filled with so many emotions yeah that they're just there and just can't handle it um but then there's also like to distract yourself from the sadness uh there's a lot of other side activities that you can do once either like as you're playing or once you finish the game like so you finish the game and it does allow you to kind of go back and uh replay in the main area which the original game didn't initially um so you when you played the first game you had to make sure you got all the collectibles and everything you wanted before you finished the game otherwise you'd have to start from scratch and that was annoying um but yeah you can go back and finish uh combat sh shrines so you find these shrines around and you set it up and then all these enemies come at you in waves and it's really 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 fun um and there's another thing that you can do which is uh spirit runs so there are courses around um, the world where you have like a little ghost Ori that you have to race. Oh, who, cool. That's yeah. been like set by one of the developers. Time and trials. And so you have to do these time trials. And some of them, oh my goodness, the one that's playing right now was the one that I found the hardest. And it took me about half an hour before I got it because there's so many little bits that you can get wrong. And then when I finally got it, Oh my goodness, because uh, so sometimes you shouldn't follow the exact route that the ghost takes. That's what I learned, and I learned that the hard way. Yeah, um, sure. Well, and... why do they know better? Yeah, oh, um, and yeah, it, it's 
just such a good game like so you have these like real highs of yeah i finished the game and i did the thing yeah yeah and then you get a cutscene and you're like uh. <laughs> but like yeah they're just so beautifully designed and just just such gorgeous such, such gorgeous art such gorgeous the music the music does like 90 percent of the work i will say that because it's just so good that main theme man um and yeah i I love it. I love it so much. Um, and it's all about it. saving the environment and being a little spirit and doing cool platformy stuff. Uh, cool. It is tricky. The bosses can be tricky, but they're fairly okay with the checkpoints. Um, and yeah, like it's one of those things where you're like, just one more try, just one more try, just one more try. Okay, just one more try. And then you finally get it and it's it's amazing and you get that achievement and you feel good that sounds like a strong recommendation Mm -hmm. very strong i love it much muchly 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 good and i think it's on game pass so if you have game pass you can play it for free so oh nice well that's well that's good get on it try it yeah pass peeps yeah um, right, well, I'm going to quiz you on Cloudpunk in a moment, but um, uh, Spirit of Score says, Howdy, can you all say hello to my daughter Sophia, who's been an Oxboxtra fan nearly her whole life, please? Much love and thanks for all you do. Hey, oh, Sophia. Hi, Sophia. Thanks for being a fan uh, for nearly your whole life. Wow. Oh, my goodness. That's that's such dedication. Yeah. Such dedication. Uh, thank you, Sophia. Um, I hope you are having a lovely day. Hmm. Um... And Fabian Eckert says, I wish I could watch this and the D&D stream live, but today's my birthday and so I don't have time. But I wish everyone a lovely time, a great show and a great Ox venture. Happy birthday. Have an amazing birthday. Yeah, happy birthday, Fabian. Um, Isabel Robson says, so glad for this to help me relax after a 2am start helping feed the people of Newport. My skelly shirt also turned up just in time for Ox venture. Yay. Yay. And Corey Bullen says, imagine how much Ellen would be bouncing in excitement if there was a Kingdoms of Amalur t- Reckoning 2. To be honest, I would be as well. I love that game. Oh, yeah. man. The, I mean, it, Ellen, would it would be a lethal level of oh, excitement. My, oh, my goodness. Yeah. 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 The only thing that... Um, the only thing that makes it even bearable to contemplate is, that, is the sure knowledge that it won't happen. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I hate to say it, but you're probably right. <laughs> but... Hey, why they make... already made the perfect game. Exactly. Why make Kingdoms of Amalur 2? <laughs> why try and follow the masterpiece, you know? I assume. Oh, Ellen, you'll like this comment. Uh, Jeff Edwards says, Watching your stream while bottle feeding my foster kittens is such a great joy in my life. Ooh, meow. Hi, meows. <laughs> and the cat... <laughs> and Cam Effect says, Luke and Ellen have you used any amiibos in Animal Crossing and has anyone sent food for the sofa? Uh, no, the sofa's... Um, uh, feeding itself now um mm-hmm. we've left it to forage uh i think you have to sort of give them a bit of independence don't oh, you Oh yeah otherwise they don't learn yeah 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 it's difficult it's difficult being the parent to a sofa uh, as for amiibos no i don't have um many amiibos i don't have amiibos yeah. either even though i love them so much and wish i was collecting them mm. but i'm not <laughs> so I really only have myself to blame there. I used to put amiibos on shelves when I worked in a shop. Nice. But not on my shelves in my house. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so sad. Put them on the shelf, get a little glimpse. Oh, a little, <laughs> little inkling. Maybe one day. I, we, I, remember, I think I was at work when all the Pokemon ones came in and I was like putting out oh. Pikachu ones being like, I want the Pikachu. <laughs> Some Smash ones, maybe. I'm not sure. Pikachu stared mockingly back. <laughs> not for you <laughs> right uh, Liet, uh, Liet the Cuttlefish says hope you guys are okay I've been doing unpaid 12 hour shifts in a covid ward as a med student and you guys have kept me from breakdown so many times I can't thank you enough keep on keep on keeping on um, oh man hugs that's amazing yeah I, I think we can't thank you enough yeah um, that sounds like uh, incredible work um, so thank you uh, oh wow, and everyone's upset that I said Kings of Amalur 2 isn't coming out. Look, <laughs> don't, don't shoot the messenger. Uh... Okay, Alan, are you ready to be quizzed? Yeah. Oh, that's what you think. You think you're ready to be quizzed. You are so not ready. <laughs> I'll tell you who's really not ready to quiz you is me because I've lost my document. <laughs> 
where is it? You know that bit in Ratatouille where the evil chef is like, that rat stole my documents. <laughs> that's me. There we go. Uh, no, wait, no, that's the wrong thing. I was about to start reading that, but it's a bit of voiceover from the Animal Crossing, uh, like, soup clip show um, video we did, like, best oh, of. Oh, yeah. So I was about to start the quiz. Hey, folks, Luke here, you know, the one who plays Animal Crossing, insisting his character wears this little towel. <laughs> <laughs> but that's not right. There we go. Okay, good. Oh, wow, I thought I'd accidentally deleted it there. The day is saved. Okay, right. Uh, why don't we start with a little clip of Cloud Punk? Ooh. Fly to headquarters. I'll give you more instructions when you arrive. Thanks, Control. Uh, one more thing, 14FC. Welcome to Cloud Punk. Cloud Punk. Ooh. Yeah, that's right. So it's got, it's got this. Uh, yeah. It, it is pretty, right? Yeah. Good 14 FC. Game. This is going um, to Cloud the Punk Marrow. Now on PC. Where's that? It's coming to PS4 later this year. Tell pretty the story low in the city Rainier. superstructure. I'll give uh, you a waypoint on your navcom to help you find it. Several times Be careful down there. The game, I should, I it's should, busy. I and it's Rainier, a maze. A who moves to Not exactly and takes the rich the part of town. Company to make the kind of place where you wipe your feet on the way out. Okay. Carmenus was a great driver. You got big boots to fill. He flew delivery for over 10 years, you know. How about the driver before him? Oh, the game is too loud. Oh, the game. Oh, God. Sorry, you weren't supposed to be able to, sorry, you weren't supposed to be able to hear the game at all. No wonder that was so loud. Wow. OK, I'm so sorry about that. All right. I think you might have to redo it. I think I'd, I think I'd better I think I'd better start again. Oh, yeah. I'm just looking at the chat. They're, they're saying like, that ah! they're saying that the game audio is loud. Game audio is a bit loud, says Sarah Fancella, which is a real uh, kind, um, generous yeah. understatement because I can actually see all of the audio meters here and woo boy, <sighs> that was supposed to be fully muted. Yeah. Okay, I think I'd better start again, hadn't yeah, I? Yeah, start again from the top. It's okay. Fine. That right. means Ima no one heard you say Rainier wrong, it's fine. <laughs> well, now you've told them I did. <laughs> Delete channel. Right, Ellen, you're, you're gonna re you're gonna regret taking this tone. <laughs> Cloud, Cloud Punk, uh, out now on PC and coming to PS4 later this year, tells the story of Rainier, a musician who moves to a cyberpunk city and takes work with a shady delivery company to make ends meet. Mm -hmm. You'll be tasked with ferrying packages around town in this combat-free story game. You'll meet weird NPCs and shady corporations, as is the style in these Blade Runner-esque worlds. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's a very pretty game, isn't it? You look at the very, yes. very. Um, Ellen, in Cloudpunk, you play the role of a delivery driver. But how well would you fare as a professional road warrior? Let's find out by quizzing you on six UK road signs and their meanings. <laughs> Am I just doing a theory test? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> sort of. A bit. Okay. Um, okay. Now, Ellen, remind me, do you have a UK driver's license? Uh, no, I have provisional UK driver's license. Which I have means you've taken... passed your theory test. No. Right. Oh, right. Sorry. Okay, right. Provisional is one where you say like, hey, provisional, yeah, the government, you have I'm provisional... 17 years old. And they're like, cool, have a license that means you can't drive. Yeah, but... like, well, it's, it means I'm allowed to drive if there's someone sat next to me who can. And yeah. we're doing it in a lesson format. And it also means uh, it also works as ID. Mm -hmm. That's the um, big reason I bought it because yeah. I get ID'd all the time. <laughs> Still. <laughs> okay, so Ellen, let's see how much you know about UK road signs. Mm -hmm. That's right, folks. That's the okay. direction. This, that's the direction this quiz is going in. Where are you sharing them with me? So I am going to put them up on uh, on the stream. Yeah. Ellen, you're on a slight delay. Yeah. Um, but I, I, I think it'll be all right. I think we'll okay. just, we'll just wait. I could, I could uh, DM them to you, but I think, to be honest, it would be just as quick to. So let me know when, you, when you can see the sign. Okay. Okay. I believe that this means. Oh no no! This is multiple choice, Ellen. Oh okay. You wouldn't think I would make it so difficult as okay. to make you identify this without multiple choice. What kind of monster do you think I am? I don't know. Oh, okay. <laughs> Ellen. Sign one. Does this sign mean 
A. No motor vehicles. Mm -hmm. B. Only cars and motorcycles allowed. Or C. Stunt jumps permitted. <laughs> I want it to be C. Mm. But I have a feeling that it is A. A is correct. Yeah. It does indeed mean no motor vehicles. Ding, 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 ding. I'm just doing my own sound effects now. Okay, Ellen, let me know when you can see the next sign. Okay. Lots of people wanting to see. Okay, I can see it. Good. Okay, does this sign mean A, dead end road, B, no vehicles except bicycles being pushed, or C, sign not finished? C. C. Sign not finished is not correct. This means no vehicles except bicycles being pushed. What? Yep. Yep, that's I, right. Because I've done some research, like like revision, to do like a theory test. I've never come across that one. Well, no vehicles except cycles being pushed. Wow. I have a driver's license and I'm not sure I've ever seen one of these. But there we uh, go. Yeah, I've never seen one. There you go. All right. Let me know when you can see the next sign, Ellen. Okay. Some people getting it, though. Well, those people should be very proud of themselves and their um, and their, and their their driver's knowledge. Okay, right. They are the, they are the safest drivers amongst us. Mm-hmm. Okay, Ellen. Sign number three. Does this mean A, no cycling? B, only cycling, or C, bike sail ahead? A. Um, wait, hang on. I actually have to check my answer here. <laughs> Sorry. Road sign. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot to mark down. I'm, I'm pretty sure I know which one it is, but I'm terrified of getting it wrong and giving bad road advice. Um, oh, which one did you guess? A. A, no cycling. Yeah. Is correct. Yeah. Ding 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 ding. Okay, Ellen, let me know when you can see the next one. Very common. Go ding 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 right now. Good. A very common road sign. This. Oh wow. See it all the time. Okay. Does this mean a no vehicles carrying explosives? Does it mean b emergency vehicles only, or does it mean c? Use of nitrous not allowed. <laughs> I think it's A again. You think it's A, no vehicles carrying explosives. Yeah. That is correct. Yeah. Ding, 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 a, no overtaking, B, single lane parking only, or three, Greece style Thunder Road drag race ahead. I believe it's no overtaking. It's either A or B. You don't think it's the Greece also... style Thunder Road? No, sadly okay. not. Because uh, okay. the thing is, there's also the, the line Our government's the no road. fun. Um, yeah denote whether you can overtake or not so if it's like a solid line on both sides you can't overtake uh in the middle of the road that is um a i'm gonna go with a a no overtaking is yeah. correct ding ding ding, ah. ding 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 good okay um uh, by the way, do check that thing Ellen said about overtaking lines on the road. I think that's correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, the white lines in the middle of the road, if they go uh, from like a dashed line in the middle to yeah. two solid lines, no overtaking. What I'm trying to do on this quiz, Ellen, is just be very careful to not give any incorrect driver's knowledge. So, like, are you so sure? Yeah. I think you're right. No, okay. no, no, it's true right. because they're often on bends in the road as well. Okay. Ellen does not have a driver's there. license, I feel obliged to point out, but I'm yeah, pretty sure. Everyone in the chat That's... is correct, saying I'm correct. So. All right. I love, I love, I love that you're rolling the dice on that. Okay. Uh, let me know oh, when no. you, <laughs> let me know when you can see the final sign. Okay. Right. Yeah. Cool. Um, all right. Does this mean a risk of flat tire? B, loose chippings, or C, beware bees in undercarriage. <laughs> it's uh, B. 
B, loose chippings is... Ding, 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 ding. Correct. Yeah. Hey. I wasn't keeping score there, but I think you only got one wrong. Yeah. Nice. Cool. Um... Uh, right, where did my where did my um, <laughs> clips go? There we go. Good, well done, Ellen. Yay! Uh, in Cloudpunk, you replace your default hovercar AI with the AI of your dead dog, Camus. Here is a clip of that. Would you like to activate Camus now? Yes, please. Camus, are you there? It's you. I missed you. How are you? Happy. What am I? Feels strange. You've been loaded into my vehicle's automata slot. There you go, Ellen. <laughs> so, Ellen, in this game, you can <laughs> load in your dog's personality into your car. Um, but here's what I want to know. Um, but Ellen, if you uh, had a hover car and spent all day in it taking long trips, what animal would have the best in-car personality? Oh, what animal would have the best in-car personality? Ooh. Hmm. Just, just in general, any animal? So, yeah, you can choose one animal to load into your car uh, mm -hmm. and have its AI in there. What animal would you choose? Bearing in mind that obviously animals can't talk, but now it will be able to. Okay, now be able to. And does it like help you with driving and navigation and things? And... Uh, I think, the, yeah, I think it helps as much as it can. Mm hmm. But how much it can help might depend on the animal. Okay. I think something with like a keen eye, good sense of direction. Uh. I think maybe like an eagle why uh because uh they'd be able to spot things really easy especially like in your flying hover car type thing you can have a look like if it spots something it's like there they have amazing eyesight you know very good perceptiveness yeah um and uh good sense of direction um or maybe like ooh. so i was like so what what animal like kind of uh migrates like a bird that migrates and for some reason the first thing i thought of was goose but no <laughs> that would be bad <laughs> um you just just end up in the same two places as well uh also yeah, were honking think... quite annoying probably yeah yeah they've got direct access to a honking noise um i was thinking cat would be quite good but i don't think a cat would be very helpful like I yeah, think I think part of the reason yeah I think part of the reason cats are so enjoyable is because they can't talk and yeah. also they like they have a bit of you know freedom and autonomy and I think if it was trapped in the car with you the cat would just be miserable yeah and just be like please leave I want yeah. to go to sleep yeah yeah you got to let a cat have their space and then yeah. when they are, do hang out with you that time is all the more precious um I yeah I think. Yeah, something like an eagle, like like Senu in Assassin's Creed Origins or Icarus in Odyssey, like just just something that will scout out around you, good sense of direction, can point things out, uh, and make you easily like spot where you need to be. Uh, so like you've got a delivery point, that bird's already seen it miles away, and you're straight for it. I think. Yep. I think. I think so. Also, having that as your horn instead, like a, ah, would be just great. <laughs> <laughs> that'd be pretty intimidating um i suppose if everyone else has also has like an ai animal in their car mm -hmm. would you need to think about how, whether your car is going to be afraid of other cars or uh i don't know i don't think eagles care about cars i don't think they're I think eagles like... aren't scared of any other animals i don't think no like hey, eagles you want a predator you don't want like a rabbit that's gonna be like <gasps> and then run off you know which, you know, good for speed, but... Yeah. Uh, like, everybody in the chat is saying that it should be um, Senu with Andy Senu. Hello! Voice. It's me, Senu! Like that, his, his one is better, but yeah. Like his that. is certainly louder. For some reason, it's from Yorkshire. There's people with swords. Hello? <laughs> Bayek! Bayek! I can see people 
that. <laughs> yeah, exactly, that one. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I wish Andy was here. Andy, see, before lockdown, whenever we were talking about doing the talking about Senu, Andy would always find us and leap into the room we were in and yeah. scream the, and, and scream the voice. Oh, I'm sad that he. I'm sad that he's not able to do that right now. Uh, mm. I'm not. <laughs> I really enjoy it. It, it absolutely kills me every time. <laughs> oh, he's not gonna like that, Ellen. <laughs> uh, Ellen, final question: Cloudpunk revels in its neon rainwashed cyber future aesthetic. Uh, as you can probably see from the footage that you're looking at now. And indeed, nothing is more important to the cyberpunk genre than aesthetic. Would you agree? <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's well all about then. the looks. Exactly. So, Ellen, using only hairpins and anything else you have to hand, please do your best to create an edgy cyberpunk hairstyle for the chat on the stream. I've already got a... <laughs> Okay, okay. You'll have to work it right. into your edgy cyberpunk hairstyle. Okay, I've got some hairpins. I've got my hairpins to hand, like last week. Nice, good. Uh, right, okay. It's because Ellen okay. can never be sure that I won't spring a hairpin-related challenge on her. I've got some things here. That all... Right, okay, headphones are coming off. Luke, you'll have to commentate as okay. I do this. Yeah, all right, okay. I will do. I, will okay. do. Okay. I know all okay. about hair. This will go great. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ellen has removed her headphones. That's the first thing that I can see. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Ellen is reaching for some sort of implement. It is a... It's a tiny hair prong. It's a hair clip, I think. It's a lock pick. Okay, so the braid is being placed over the top of the skull. And that is being pinned at a, what I would call a jaunty diagonal. Uh, creating what looks like a sort of unicorn horn of hair if the unicorn had sort of run into a wall and the horn had been knocked sort of slightly off kilter um, and had gone a bit wonky. But it's okay, it's, it's asymmetric. That's the, that's clearly what we're going for. Okay, the fringe, uh, it seems, is staying. Um, or at least it's staying for now. Uh, right now it's right down between the eyes like that bloke from the Misfits. Oh, there we go. It's going up. Ah, okay. Now, another hair clip is being applied to the fringe, which is being puffed out slightly, I believe is the technical term. Ellen's, yep, Ellen's performing a, a small puffing manoeuvre. Uh, yep, now another clip is going in. I believe what's happening here is the simulation of a severe undercut, which is uh, part of the trendy um, cyberpunk look. Yes, and if we get a look at the side, yeah, the hair is being brushed behind the ear uh, and, yeah, and pinned back. Yes, good, 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 good. Well, this is already looking. Oh, okay. All right. Oh, we've got a we've got a flower crown in the mix. Cool. Not super edgy. You might get kicked out of the neuromancer club. But no, oh, no, no. It's coming off. It's coming off. It's not. It's not working. It's not working. Pass, pass. No, no. Do away with it. Do away with it. Okay. But now, what to do with this bit of hair that's left on Ellen's left? That's the question. That's the Ellen's eyebrows seem to seem to ask the question: What to do with this little bit of hair? Okay. Well, it's getting twist. It's getting twisted up and applied to the. Oh, the braid is getting maneuvered around slightly. I can't tell if. Uh, I yeah. Uh, uh, Wimpy Doodle says she's placing another hairpin, and the crowd goes wild. This really is hairstyling for the ages. Yep, yeah, that's it. Okay. Well, now everything is all on top. Um, oh, no, the braid is the braid is coming forward. Um, oh, hang on, something new is in the mix. It looks like a tiara. I want to say it's a tiara. It may be part of the Merylwen costume. I can't see clearly enough. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. All right, and it's being applied uh, straight over the top in a very. Um, I, I I want to say. Oh, there we go. Okay, right, and now I can't see any of it. Cool. <laughs> Yep, it works. It works. It works. In it. <laughs> Nathan Blummer says we're seeing liquid hairstyling here today. That was well, great, I, Ellen. I tried to do a thing with like bringing this part of my hair forward. But Why it... are you sounding dejected as if it didn't work? This... You, brought, you brought your hair forward, didn't you? Look, if I was in a cyberpunk world and I walked into the cyberpunk bar. And you were there and your hair was like that. I'd be like, wow, they don't care what anyone thinks. They <laughs> are, they certainly have a lot of confidence. I kind of look a little bit like someone in rage. Yes. When they like just attack their hair. 
Yes. Yeah. Yes, you look like you've attacked your hair. Yeah. But it's. I think it's a good look. So just to, just turn to this. Also, the headphones also are, more, are selling it I more. I think that the headphones like do. It's do working. It. It's working. Your way this too... side is slightly better. Uh, I prefer mm. the other side with like no, yeah, like nothing. Yeah, oh, nothing. Nothing down. No, actually, yeah, this one. This one's better. Mm. This is better side. Gentleman Drill says Luke's hair commentary was just gold. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. Um, yeah, I think I think that's I think that's a cool style. Yeah. Yeah, I'm getting cyberpunk vibes. Nice. Um, how easy is that going to be to undo when we have to do D and D in a uh, little over an hour? <laughs> It'll be interesting. Uh, well, I had to undo my braid anyway, uh, so that that's cool. Um, just just have to be careful not to pull my hair out fully because of all the pins in it. So yeah, well, you nearly pulled your hair out last last time we did this last week, right? Because the hair was all pinned around the headphones. Yeah, remember that for the, the yeah. princess layer hair. Mm. Yeah, but at least then I had like a little bit of a gap between being on camera next, so <laughs> I could have. I had a few days to work out how to cover any bald patches that I may have created. Oh, I see, I see. <laughs> well, don't, lean into it, Ellen. Um, if, <laughs> if the worst does come to pass, I'm sure we can figure out an in-universe explanation for where Merylwen's hair went. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just got singed by a dragon or something. We could have Johnny. Egbert um, sneezed. Johnny can come up with something. Yeah, yeah. yeah, Egbert, yeah. Egbert sneezed, and Ellen couldn't get out the way in time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. It looks, it looks good. Thanks. It looks good. I'd say you passed with flying colours. Oh, amazing! My cyber, my cyberpunk quiz. Um, right, well, we've got nine minutes left. Um, do you want to check in with the chat, Ellen? Should we see yeah, what, I'd we, love see what to. folks are saying? Uh, David Badalotti says, someone absolutely needs to work a unicorn running into a wall and knocking its horn askew into a game. Best laugh I've had this week. Oh, sorry, Ellen, that won't make sense to you. That's how I described some of the hair as it was... <laughs> as it was being put together uh welcome along new member wolf spain moving on from that comment um <laughs> and new member katrine myra hello 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 welcome uh lionel l says we'll need a luke hair challenge soon Ooh. oh yeah yeah it's been i've been making the thumbnails and i've been saying to luke it's been getting harder and harder every week to uh cut around his hair because it's just there's just so much of it now it's getting very long well obviously i haven't been to a hairdresser in quite some yeah. time yeah um yeah I, um... so many like waves where you kind of have a little curl and there's a little bit of light coming through behind and i'm like okay i've got to cut out a hole there and a little yeah. hole there. <laughs> yeah. i'm losing control like... of the situation but it's, it's um, fine it's getting more steve harrington though eventually it will thank, well thank you ellen that's kind of you yeah, to say um you'll get what, we'll what i'm amazing. missing is is the is the growth at the back though like, yeah. Kind of like, yeah yeah it's still very short at the back yeah mm. speaking of steve harrington i have a, a sailor top that did i send you one of those already oh in animal crossing yeah yes, you did. Animal, yeah, 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 yeah. I did. yeah good good i'm trying to get you your scoops ahoy up <laughs> oh yeah oh <laughs> Uh, Aoife Brennan says, can we get another bear down contingent? Uh, oh, yeah, the, oh, the bear, bear down protocol, yes. Bear, bear down protocol, yeah. Well, I don't know. I, don't, I feel like we can't signal it ahead of time. Also, like, we don't plan that that far ahead, do we? No, it, it, it's just what situations arise, really. Hmm. Uh, really. Um, uh, Geordie uh, Den Hartog says, could I have a shout out for my friend Ruth? who came down with COVID the other day. Uh, thankfully, oh. she does have 60 skeletons to help her around the house. Oh, good. Uh, yeah, of course. Shout out to Ruth. Shout out. Um, hugs. Hugs yeah. to anyone who's not feeling well right now. Hugs um, and hope you feel better in very Internet soon. hugs. Hope you feel better soon. Internet yeah. hugs. How do we yeah. send an internet hug? Is it like... Oh, oh yeah, that's good. Just sort of close the fingers in front of the webcam. Yeah. You're in here. Like, yeah. <laughs> You're. Let me try. Is this comforting? <laughs> You're in here. <laughs> Every once in a while, I like catch what I look like as well. <laughs> Good. It's a... oh, God, it's a look. It's like, it is a look, which was the challenge. I said, come uh... up with a look. Hang on, that all of that hugging has made me go blurry. <laughs> My webcam can't handle the love. There we go. Let me see. I like have hair. So that, that's good. Yeah. There we go. Just do the whole show like this now. Hi. 
Well, now you know how I feel. I'm always like trying to hold my head <laughs> at, at an advantageous <laughs> angle. Uh, Stefan Yazvak says, show the weekend and Oxventure on the same day. Today just gets better and better. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, yeah, it is going to get better and better because in an, in an hour and five minutes, um, Oxventure is going to kick off. It's going to be good. It's going to be ace. Good. Uh, Rasmus NEM says suddenly I feel a little bit happier about social distancing I think that's um, because of our hugging good good I'm glad I'm glad it made you happy and not terrified (laughs) yeah (laughs) Um, Denomolus says how do you refocus a webcam web web Speaking of, uh, I looked at my Animal Crossing notice board the other day and John had visited my town and he'd just written web in capital letters. Oh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, Don 7656 says, Black bear protocol, ink somebody, then scare them as a bear. Ooh. That's a pretty good combo. Although what I want to know is, where's Dob in that situation? That seems like an <laughs> all Merylwen manoeuvre. Oh, and well, Lokesh... No, I squirt as an octopus. Turn yeah. to a cat and then you throw me in there. Squirt like an octopus, sting like a sting like a bee. <laughs> <laughs> uh, squirt like an octopus, throw like a cat. <laughs> yeah, that's what Ali said. Um, oh, and Lokesh S says, "Is that an Oxbox drummer, Gellan?" It is. Let's have uh, a look at it. Is in the show. Uh, this is uh, by our lovely friend of the channel and uh, artist of our D and D stuff, Bendix, uh, and she sold these uh, as a little limited run a while ago, and it's good. It's a nice big mug, as big as my face, and then I can drink lots of fluids like I need to. So, but yeah, I got my pals, I got my pals. You're, you're all hanging out with me now. <laughs> Then we're all together in the mug. All together, we're all friends. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Charlie Blamey says, I've been in a mental health funk due to the lockdown, but you've been keeping me sane. Thank you very much, Lee. Thank you. Thanks, Charlie. Uh, Yeah, I hope things perk up soon. Um, Sorry you're having a hard time. I think everyone's been just having those moments where you're just like... (sighs) It just gets, gets a bit much sometimes, all of this stuff. It does. It yeah. really Thoughts. does. <laughs> Thoughts to everyone right now. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Um, everyone enjoyed your uh, laugh there, Ellen, when you were <laughs> hugging the mug. Yes, that's so good. <laughs> <laughs> My friends are with me, right? Friends are with me. <laughs> Hang on, I gotta, I gotta stop floating out of frame because the <laughs> the webcam's gonna lose me. <sighs> I think this is the longest I've been on screen without a fringe. Everyone enjoy this because my my fringe is eventually gonna be too long to just be a normal fringe, and I'm gonna have to like sweep it to one side. So this Ooh. is my... it's well done, everyone. For Ellen, seeing. can I give you some advice? Yeah. Cut your own fringe. No. Yes. No. You can do it. I believe in you. No. You can do it. No. You just have to cut in a straight line. Practice no. on some wrapping paper. No. And then, and then just go for it. No, because my hairdresser is very good. You do, you do the whole trim across, and then you have to do. But you have to be really careful the way you do it, and you have to have good scissors. Mm. Like, and you have to be like talented, and it's very difficult to do it on your own. Mm. Yes. I know, but I believe in you. No. No, I'd rather just let it gradually grow out and have like a sweepy side fringe. Let it grow. <laughs> yeah, let it grow. Yeah. Okay. Well, All right. Well, I can't I, I... pin it back anymore. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, Ellen, I I believe in you. I reckon you could I reckon you could pull off the look. Although the chat universally thinks that that was terrible advice. <laughs> Ter- don't cut no one at home cut look, your own if you look if, you, if you're looking for just a little short just put a bowl on your head and no, then you'll have your yeah then you'll have a then you'll have a guaranteed straight line and just cut just cuts along that no you don't want a straight line fringe you want a nice feathered fringe because then it looks not like a uh, like think some some people look amazing with the straight cut fringe yeah i do not i okay. do not claudia winkleman she looks great with it 
Me? No. Not everyone can pull off the Winkleman no. fringe. No. I've always said it. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Callisto says, Luke, why don't you cut your hair? <laughs> yeah, like that laser says, you cut your fringe. Push your hair down and see how much of a fringe you would have. Okay. <laughs> oh! oh my uh, goodness, you look like you should be in like blur or pulp. <laughs> oh, yeah. Blur, please. If the is No, maybe pulp. You know what? It doesn't matter. I'll take either. <laughs> Yeah, so just you push down here, scissors across there, <laughs> bam! Haircuts are good. Oh, hang on, I've got some, I've got some real height now. Do you feel a bit better now, and that we've both messed up our hair before the uh, D and D yes. stream? Oh no! <laughs> We're just gonna be like, eh. the, the story is we had a wild night the night before. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Um, Spoon of Doom says, um, that's evil Spider-Man, Luke. <laughs> yeah. Dig on this. <laughs> now dig on this. Yeah. I think that scene is good. Right there, I can see. Look underneath. I think I th I would like to try uh, Mohican. Ooh! Mm. I think you'd be able to do it like like not a shaved one. You can do like a a faux Hican. And yeah. That. Yeah. Well, I can do I can I can do it in the uh, like in the sh you know in the shower like in yeah. uh, Ferris, Ferris Bueller. Is it Ferris Bueller at the beginning of that? Or he's sort of yeah. He's in the yeah. shower and he just it's the first thing you do right. When yeah. you're washing your hair, you just like put it on. Yeah. Like, well, you either put it in a mohawk, uh, or if like long, look long hair like me, you just do one spike. <laughs> look, look at the height that I could be yeah. boasting. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Is it a good haircut? Did I, did I do good? <laughs> Right, hang on. We should have just made the whole stream this. Yeah! Changing hairstyles. Doing hairstyles! Uh. Uh, okay, right. Uh. Um, Afer Brennan says, Emo Luke is funniest Luke. <laughs> <laughs> so, I should, so I should stick with it. LX Cat says, Don't cut your own hair. Did that week one of lockdown in New Zealand wore a beanie for the next week. Looks amazing now. Looks amazing now! See? Because you cut your own hair. That's only acceptable in Canada. Come on. <laughs> if you ask any stylist, they'll tell you the secret to haircutting is confidence. <laughs> uh, if you, look, my hairdresser, it, it, like, not considering a lockdown, has always been like, never cut your own fringe. Just come in and I will do it for you for free. Just don't cut your own fringe. I'm like, I'm never going to cut my own fringe. Oh, well, then we should threaten to and get that sweet free haircut. <laughs> Why? Why pay more? <laughs> you, you're turning. You're turning down an incredible bargain, Ellen. Well, that. No, yeah, I go in and get my fringe trimmed sometimes. Yeah, but 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 you could be getting it for free. All you have to do is threaten to cut it yourself. You yeah, just have I to do. go. I do you get it for free anyway. He's always like, yeah, don't worry about it. Oh, right, you get good. your haircuts for free. It's just my fringe. Oh right, wait, hang on. Your fringe doesn't count as the haircut. No, if you just go in and they go. Because, like, uh, women's haircuts are okay. really expensive. Yes, the, okay, sure. I'm with you, I'm with you, I'm with you. Okay. Yeah. I still go in for regular, like, cuts and colours and things like that. Sure, but sure, sure, sure. The more my... ambitious structural stuff. Yeah. Okay, yeah. cool. Cool, 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 cool. All right, well, um, now that we both look terrible, I think it's probably time to end <laughs> the stream <laughs> and go sort ourselves out. Yes. Cool. I, I have a lot to sort out. <laughs> this will, this may bounce back. Mm. It'll be fine. Let's pull it It'll all down. Let's we'll pull it all down into one spot. We were talking about that guy in the misfits. Here we go. This is. Oh it. yeah. This is the look. <laughs> Just cross-eyed Luke. Great. This is the <laughs> this is the look for 2020. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the channel. I'm going to talk about video games. 
Do you know Doom Guy is Link? <laughs> right. I think we lost it. <laughs> right. Okay, we're actually running over now, so we should um we we got it. We got we got to we got to call this now. Uh thank you so much everyone for watching. Uh let's pop a link to uh live D&D in the chat right yeah. now. Uh all right, I've got I have the link. Um we have an hour to get ready. You have an hour at viewers at home to get some snacks, get some drinks. Yep. Snuggle up with a nice blankie if it's if it's cold enough to need that um, or you know chill out find a nice reserve a spot on the sofa maybe cast us onto your television oh cast Treat us onto yourself. your television that sounds cool <laughs> cool all right well we've put the link uh, to live DD in the chat i'm sure it'll be popped in a few more times uh, i'm sure producer john is going to stick it in there as well um let's see how many people are currently waiting there are currently uh 200 256 people as a time of, of speaking are, are waiting in that lobby so go and join them uh get in the chat get the page open set a reminder and we will we will see you then Play. thank you ellen for taking part in my cloud punk quiz that's all right thanks for listening to me go on and on about ori and how much i love it so much it was my pleasure like hearing you talk about it and watching the footage i was like hmm, maybe i should stop being snarky about this game and you play, it. play it yes mm. but I'd, I'd have to row back i'd have to it would be a humiliating climb now <laughs> No, I think no, I think it looks really cute, and I, I'm a, I'm I'm really in the mood for a, a sort of short, punchy, like video game now with a, like a I nice, nice right tight campaign. Your, right up your street. Um, mm. you you like the, it's adorable and it's clever. That's the two words I would use to adorable just, and clever. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, see you in a little under an hour when hopefully we will look a little bit smarter. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, everyone, in the chat. Thanks, John, for moderating. Uh, like and subscribe if you enjoyed this and so on. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.